Hi folks, it's Cat Beanie and welcome back to my Infinite Survival World Let's Play. Today I wanted to take the opportunity to discuss the new Minecraft Snapshot 21WO7A, um, which is introducing the new block Grimestone. Um, and it, I'm gonna say, guys, it's looking pretty good. I mean, I wasn't <laughs> expecting when they said about reducing the bottom of the Minecraft world to negative 64 blocks. I wasn't expecting a completely new block to be added in. Uh, obviously I was just expecting more of the same, the cobblestone and everything else and I was a bit apprehensive about how diamonds and iron and everything else would generate in, these, in this whole new area. Um, but I don't have any pictures um, of the snapshot that I can show you at the minute but um, from looking at it, it looks kinda like Blackstone um, it looks good, um, I'm excited to use it when the new update comes out obviously there are other YouTubers out there who already have um, access or you know stuff that they can show you. I do not have any access to the beta because every time I do go on the beta it like mucks up my game and then I need to reinstall Minecraft and then for whatever reason Minecraft won't download to my PC and it's ho uh, just a whole issue that I don't want to have to deal with so yeah I you know obviously I can't get access to it. I don't have any of that stuff, but um, hit up folk like IBX Toy Cat or other YouTubers that will have um, a better in depth way of showing you what's going on. Um, but so far, I can tell you what's happening. So, with the grindstone, we'll get grindstone slabs, stairs, wall, polished grindstone. Polished grimestone slab, polished grimestone stairs, polished grimestone wall, grimestone bricks, grimestone brick slabs, grimestone brick stairs, grimestone brick wall, grimestone tiles, grimestone tile slab, grimestone tile stairs, uh, grimestone tile wall, and chiseled grimestone. Now, I was a bit, th it might just be my dyslexia, but I was a bit thrown off when they said grimestone tiles. Like, thinking. We've already got slabs and in my head I thought of slabs and tiles as sort of the same thing but I, from what I think, I mean I could be completely wrong but from what I gather um, the grindstone tiles is just another complete block that we can make slabs, stairs and walls from. Uh, so that's good. I mean it says chiselled grindstone. Um, but it doesn't have any chiselled grindstone slabs, stairs or walls. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, we could absolutely love chiselled grindstone and want slab stairs and walls and not have any access to that. Maybe I'll add that in uh, later, but obviously not every block has its own, with its different variations. Not all those variations have slabs, stones and stairs. So... We'll see how that goes. Uh, changes in the 21 WO7A. Tweaks and updates to world generation and ores. Changes to the visuals of some ores and stone types. And reordered redstone tab in creative inventory. Which means they're moving the redstone tab about. But um, the other bit, the changes to the visuals of some ores and stone types. Um, looking at the visuals, it says ores without Unique shapes have been given new textures for accessibility reasons so that each ore is distinguishable by shape alone. Now, this is amazing news for accessibility reasons because some people um, are colorblind and have visual impairments and they can't always differentiate dif or the dyslexia is strong today differentiate um, between the ores uh, based on their colour. So to change the shape of them, to make the 
separate ores distinguishable by shape alone is, uh, you know, it might seem small to those of us that can see colour and those of us that don't have any other um, visual impairment. But for those people, you know, that it does affect, it's, it could be a potentially a massive thing for them. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to um, Minecraft and the team and the developers uh, for putting that in there. Uh, this is obviously the Java snapshot, but obviously some of these features will be coming to bedrock. Uh, but yeah, for accessibility reasons, I am a big fan of anything that makes something more accessible. Um, like, given my own um, additional support needs and those of my kids and friends and family, I am a massive fan of, you know, things that help ordinary people um, keep going and keep doing what they love despite um, any other difficulties they may have. Right, so keep going. More on the visuals. Being the most iconic ore, diamond ore texture is staying the same to keep that classic feel maintained. So the visual texture of diamond ore isn't changing. Diamond ore will look the same uh, when the new updates come out. So that's remaining the same. Um, from what I can see from the picture, uh, it's iron is changing, coal is changing redstone and gold. Now looking at it from from here, the gold um, in this picture looks a lot like the gold um, that you see in the nether. Um, you know it's got those little sort of gold nuggety type bits inside the inside the stone. Uh, so it's looking like they're copying that texture but within cobblestone. Uh, so that's looking quite good. And I'm not sure whether they're doing... From the picture I've got, it's just got the different ores that are that are in the cobblestone. So I don't know if they're... when Because when you get to below... Neg, like below um, Y0... Uh, and you get down to that grindstone, there's going to be, you know, speckles of grindstone to start with as you go down, and then eventually it's just going to be completely grindstone. The grindstone's taken over. Uh, there might be um, patches of cobblestone um, or stone kicking about, uh, but we're not sure on that yet. So I don't know if they're going to have, you know, those ores still in the stone within the grindstone or if they're going to put those textures into the grindstone directly itself as well. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, it also says black stone, polished black stone bricks and cracked polished black stone bricks have had some minor touch-ups. So I'm guessing because the black stone and this grindstone look so similar they would have had to change the black stone slightly so it'll be interesting to see what that looks like um yeah so moving on we've got world generation tweaked huge caves to be more rare and decreased the chance that caves are filled with water. Now it says decrease the chance of caves that are filled with water. With some of the caves that I've seen on other YouTubers like um, videos and whatnot, there has been like a lot of water so I was a bit concerned about that because when I'm mining one of the things I hate is having to you know deal with a pocket of water while I'm mining and then have to sort of either go around it or you know put up blocks and then drain the water and it's just a whole big deal so like I was concerned regarding that that if we have all, all more of like you know much more water it's going to be detrimental to the mining process and it's going to be just um it's just going to make it feel monotonous having to deal with this, these 
massive pockets of water over and over again. So the fact that they have decided to decrease the chance that caves are filled with water um, is a sounds like a benefit um, to me as opposed to a negative. But we'll see how that goes because I am excited for, obviously, the new cave generations underground and how, you know, that'll look and how the water will play into that. So I am excited to see that and I am gagging to make like a subterranean village or something. Um, but I guess we'll know more when it comes out or when someone else talks about it. And it says, changed ore generation to match the new world height and to add more strategy to mining. Now, I'm not quite sure what that means. Changed ore generation to match new world height. What I can only assume is that obviously we will have diamonds and iron and all the other ores um, that we're used to, as well as the new copper. Uh, down within the grindstone, which, as I said, I'm not sure if it'll have um, it'll, if it'll be in the texture with the um, stone or if it'll be in the texture with the grindstone. Will we have two different ore textures um, with the stone and with the grindstone, and then obviously the third one in the nether with um, the gold there? Um, right. And to add more strategy to mining. From what I have been led to believe, um, the grindstone is going to be more difficult to mine than stone. So, uh, get yourselves a decent pickaxe, um, get efficiency on there, and hopefully it won't be as difficult as we think it's going to be. I mean, if it's a slow going process, it's, it's going to be a bit irritating. But uh, I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, as I says, I think it's going to be akin to sort of black stone. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, tweak the size and positioning of diorite, andesite and granite generation. Now, yeah, size, positioning of diorite, andesite and granite generation. So I don't know whether if that means that we're going to have more diorite and a sitting granite generation uh, and what obviously the positioning in that is going to entail or if we're going to have less. Um, just for the sake of keeping things uh, not monotonous, I would prefer to see more... Uh, diorite and andesite granite honestly I could do without but um, it is what it is so yeah I would actually like to see more of those because when you're mining you do get like substantial amounts of cobblestone uh, or stone if you're mining with a silk touch pickaxe but um, the amount of diorite andesite and granite you get is you know pales in comparison to the amount of uh, stone and cobblestone that you would get. So I would like actually like to see more of that. Um, although I do know that some YouTubers will not relish um, having more diorite in their world. Pretty sure you all know who I'm talking about. Um, exception, diorite and granite and dirt no longer generate below Y0. Okay, so there's going to be adaptions to the positioning of diorite and and granite um, above Y0, um, which, you know, may be relatively normal to what we're used to at the minute. But there will be no diorite, granite and dirt below Y0. So you go in the new world generation when um, the update comes out, if you go um, obviously to negative one or down to negative 64, there'll be no diorite, granite and dirt. So will that mean it's just basically grindstone down there? Because again, you're going to get, like the cobbles, like cobblestone and stone, you're going to get so much of it if you decide to create mines down there. Uh, and it's just going to overrun you like cobblestone. Like, 
as I said in the last bit, I was super excited if they do decide to add more of these blocks because you do get so much cobblestone and stone that, um, you know, it's, it sort of takes over. And if you're not needing that quantity, um, like, unless you're doing, like, this massive build which takes all this cobblestone stone or smooth stone if you decide to smell it down, uh, you know we just don't need that much so having the e potentially extra diorite and the granite um, could be an improvement but if we're not going to have that below Y0 what are we going to have because again we've got the issue of the grindstone will essentially replace the stone but because we don't have these other blocks um, co-mingling and, you know, breaking up the patches of grindstone, then we will be getting um, ridiculous amounts of this stuff like we get at the minute with the cobblestone uh, and stone. So... I'm not sure if I'm too excited about that. I mean, hopefully, I mean, exception diorite, granite, and dirt no longer generate below Y0. So, it doesn't say anything about andesite. So, does that say that we're going to have more quantities of andesite down there? Um, is there potentially going to be other blocks introduced that could um, break up the, you know, the monotony of mining the grindstone uh, or are there going to be um, more ores to compensate for the lack of other blocks we just don't know but it will be interesting to find out okay and it says strongholds are now mostly encased in stone so again obviously um, strongholds are made of um bricks and whatnot and mossy bricks and blah 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 so does that mean that despite the initial building that it is then going to not be encased in like dirt and andesite and other blocks but is just mainly going to be stone surrounding the strongholds uh I'd like more clarification on that and by what it means uh, by mostly encased in stone. Uh, mineshaft corridors are now supposed uh, supported by log pillars below or chains above when needed. Okay, so what that essentially means is um, if they do not have chains supporting them from the roof of the cave, essentially looking like it's holding up the mineshaft corridors uh, so if it doesn't have the chains looking like it's supporting them suspending them from the roof uh, it will have um, support log pillars down below because at the moment um, I really like this idea because at the moment the mineshaft corridors um, essentially drift in midair and we've all been there where we've made a bridge which is like a, sh a straight line I have one uh, in this survival world you have probably seen it it like goes to my area where my sheep are and my fish farm is uh, but yeah we've all been there where we made like a straight bridge and it doesn't look like you know gravity has any idea what it's doing in that world um, sorry for the break guys my husband needed me when I was doing this but yeah, um, yeah, but it doesn't have like any idea what it was. Um, like gravity just didn't seem to matter. Uh, well, it certainly doesn't seem to matter in in my survival world uh, at the minute. I will need to fix that actually. Um, maybe put in some support structures. Uh, but the fact that they are putting in what looks like supporting structures. Um, one, it's a new way to get um, log pillars when you're in a mine shaft because, you, I mean, you can always uh, take your axe and chop down the woods, but then we'll, now we'll have more access to log pillars, which gives us more access to more wood uh, in a mine shaft. And also, we will have um, 
a new way of getting chains because chains generally use um, a lot of iron uh, to craft so that's exciting that you will be able to get them uh, naturally in the world without having to craft them so I'm quite excited about that right what have we got creative inventory uh, the redstone tab has been reordered to prioritize highly used blocks right prioritize highly used blocks what criteria they are they using um, to determine what blocks get priority I would like to know um, did they do a poll because obviously lots of people prefer different blocks and um, lots of people will will prioritize the blocks that they like like I love cobblestone in my world she's probably heard me talking about it before I because I use the plastic texture back I find um, I just like the the way it looks and I know most people think it's like a bit taboo to be building with cobblestone and a bit uh, you know out there but I like it I'm gonna keep doing it such as life uh, so obviously cobblestone is one of the priority blocks that I use um, so I would just like to get more clarification on that on what they consider a highly used block to be uh, but yeah um, hopefully we'll learn more in future redstone items slash blocks have been grouped and ordered in the following way essentials unique activators and miscellaneous common activators openables uh. I have no idea what three out of four of those mean. Uh, maybe it's the dyslexia. Essentials I get. I mean, uh, if it's something essential, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure we all understand what essential means. If you don't, it's like something that you need. It is essential. Um, like essential travel, you know. Don't do it unless you really have to. Uh, unique activators. I'm imagining that's um, got to do with like redstone builds and maybe incorporating the new sort of um, uh, Wi-Fi sound activator things that are going to be used by redstone builders when a new update comes out. Miscellaneous. Uh, yeah, understand that. Just, you know, odds and sods, bits and bobs, uh, other whatnots. Common activators. I, I'd imagine that would be, you know, redstone components that can activate um, redstone builds and whatnot. Um, if anyone's got any more clarification on this, I would like to hear it. Um, please leave a comment down below. Uh, and openables openables see when I think about openables I think about um, pressure plates you know stand on the pressure plate the doors open that's what comes to my mind I don't know if um, if anyone else has any more clarification on what openables means but please let me know uh, yeah but um, that looks good I mean people that use redstone builds uh, I am sure are very excited for all the new aspects that they can use uh, to incorporate into their builds. Although I'm not sure how these changes are going to affect already built um, redstone things. So we'll have to see how that goes. And fixed bugs in the 21W07A MC147589 Vines no longer randomly generate in jungles. Well, I'm kind of disappointed in that because if I'm in a jungle, I do not want to travel hundreds, uh, possibly thousands of blocks to find some vines. Um, but I don't think that's what it means. It says vines no longer randomly generate. So does that mean that they generate on purpose? I don't know. Uh, 
MC208613, amount of players who need to sleep to skip the night is calculated incorrectly. Right, so, um, obviously if I'm in a world with more than one player, unless you're in uh, Java and have that thing where one person can sleep and it completely skips the night for everyone else, um, in Bedrock, if I go to sleep, I need all the other people to go to sleep as well. Otherwise, um, you know, uh, I have to wait till morning. So uh, I wonder if that will have an impact on Java players at night time. We'll see how that goes. MC208618. Clicking on a bed immediately skips a night if game rule player's sleeping percentage is set to zero. So I... Taking that into the account and the last bugs fix, I would imagine that if you had the player's sleeping percentage set to zero, anyone that sleeps in the bed um, can skip the night entirely for everybody. Whereas if you set it to a certain percent, so many people would have to be asleep for it to then skip the night. Uh, that's only what I'm taking from it. I mean, I could be completely wrong here, but we'll see how that goes. Um, MC211224, seagrass can occasionally replace parts of a swamp hut. Now that sounds interesting. I mean, if you've you got a witch's um, swamp hut, seagrass can occasionally replace parts of the swamp hut. It'd be interesting to see what parts of the swamp hut the seagrass could potentially replace. Uh, because if it's replacing like base blocks and this um, swamp hut looks like it's floating, that would be some interesting generation. Uh, MC214082, crash after placing... S oh, sorry, I think it means um, they fixed it so to see grass... Right, uh, yeah, I'm completely off here, guys. But anyway, right, MC214082, crash after placing soul sand or magnum under 2032 tall water. Crash after placing soul sand or magna under 2032 tall water. Right guys, I'm going to admit I have no idea what that means. Um, so moving on, MC214814, strongholds generate floating and without walls, floors or ceilings when inside caves. So I'd imagine that strongholds will no longer generate floating and without walls, floors or ceilings inside caves. They will have all their walls intact. Hopefully. Uh, cool. Yeah, I've been reading these all wrong. Um, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> you learn from your mistakes. <laughs> MC214844. Bedrock can be exposed to the air at the very bottom of new caves. So obviously Bedrock can no longer be exposed to the air at the very bottom of new caves. And generally it should be covered up, so if it, anyone had any exposed bedrock, um, they shouldn't now. Well, after the update, anyway. Uh, MC214885, beacon beam only renders 256 blocks from source. So, will that mean that the beacon can now render more blocks from source? Uh, or fewer blocks from the source, because it's not rendering 256 blocks from the source? But we'll see. Um, MC214973, powder snow bucket and a dispenser at y equals 319 facing upwards or at y equals negative 64 facing downwards is replaced with empty bucket despite no powder snow being placed. So I take it there was an issue of people um, not placing powdered snow and their powdered snow disappearing at those coordinates, uh, which will hopefully now be fixed. MC214986, large drip stones only generate as stalagmites below y equals zero. So I take it that now large drip stones um, will not only generate as stalagmites um, below y equals zero, but will generate um, above y equals zero. Um, but they've got a lot of issues to deal with um, and I commend them for all their work. Um, I couldn't do it. 
But I do appreciate the outcome of said work, uh, and I hope everyone else that plays Minecraft does as well. Uh, snapshots are available for Minecraft Java Edition to install the snapshot, open up the Minecraft launcher and enable snapshots in the installation tab. Snapshots can corrupt your world, so please back up and or run them in a different folder from your main worlds. Cross-platform server jar, Minecraft server jar, report bugs, and um, yeah, and that's just all the technical stuff. But yeah, um, so far so show me guys, that's the... Um, well, a run through of the new snapshot, um, the Java side anyway. We'll hopefully find out how that affects Bedrock in the future because, as we know, they are trying to make um, Bedrock and Java uh, more have more continuity between the two uh, so that they're not um not completely the same game but because there are aspects to java that we bedrock players still don't have like um unique world creation um like obviously if i wanted to make like a whole world full of lava i can't do that whereas on obviously java they can and you know i was a bit late to the game folks i did not start out playing Java on Minecraft. I started off with Bedrock and have always used Bedrock. Uh, I'm now considering getting Java to... Obviously, when all these updates and things come out, I want to be able to show you guys what's going on and get a greater idea so that I can reiterate the information and give my views on what's happening so that's something i might look into doing um but for the most part i do wish there were aspects to java that we bedrock players um did have and hopefully in the future um obviously the minecraft gods will decide to bestow that upon us um but for now um like, I still enjoy the game the way it is. I am excited about the new update. I am, as I said, I'm super excited about potentially creating a subterranean village or subterranean base uh, in one of those massive caves. I am super scared of that new hostile mob guy, the warden, and he can stay away from me, that's for sure. If I see that guy in a cave, I will be running away. I will be running away very fast uh, and hopefully he cannot run fast because um, given my luck I will probably run into a wall or something and then be horrifically killed by the guy but um, he does look exciting and he does bring an element of fear to the game which I think uh, we have been lacking recently because after you've killed the dragon uh, and especially the weather, like, I feel like the weather is obviously dif more difficult than than the dragon uh, in many aspects. But um, once you've killed all the hostile mobs in Minecraft, um, you do tend to get a little bit complacent about the game. And it will be good to potentially have that, um, as I said, element of fear where we can get excited about maybe not making it through this mob, like this boss battle uh, and losing our stuff and, you know, getting a team of friends together to take on this guy and unlocking new achievements where he's concerned. So really excited about the new update coming uh, and this snapshot um, was a good insight into it. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe to see more. Uh, Thanks very much. Bye, guys. Bye.